Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video about confidence and self-love and the steps that you can take towards gaining more confidence and more self-love because honestly it's really important to have confidence especially as a girl and a guy too like um, being confident within yourself and what you wear and what you look like and the thing that you drive and how much money you have and just your friends and everything like that so obviously there's lots of aspect aspects um, in confidence and self-love and especially coming from maybe if you're a little bit shy or not so confident it can be quite tough to build up the confidence it is quite important when you're young to be confident um, and yeah there's lots of expectations these days with our society and stuff so I'm just gonna go through some tips and tricks and things that I use and exercise every day to become a little bit confident how to deal with friends and bullies and social media and expectations of everything so let's get into the video all right so the first thing I want to talk about is social media and if I'm looking down it's because I'm looking at this little thing that I wrote made some notes so I can remember I'm gonna say and I don't miss out on anything so social media is such a big part of our lives today well majority of the people that I know and you know it's such a big thing there's Facebook snapchat Twitter Instagram and I use it every day um, I've deleted snapchat for a little while and it's good because I feel like I'm not on my phone as much because I have lots of friends on snapchat and I always go on snapchat and check the stories and stuff and I'm so consumed in my phone and a lot of people put things on Instagram mostly that um, kind of portray an image that their life is perfect and they're really confident and stuff and that kind of reflects onto younger girls and guys too and it kind of can affect their confidence because you know if they've got nice flashy cars and you don't or you know like they have lots of money for makeup and they go on holidays all the time and they've got a really good feed and you know they're using professional cameras and photoshop to edit their photos it can really like degrade someone and make their confidence quite low which is a big problem and there is things you can do to kind of help that like the first thing I want to talk about is Photoshop so a lot of the photos that you see some don't get me wrong there's lots of people and lots of girls and guys on Instagram that don't edit their photos much and don't use Photoshop but it is quite a common thing to see like makeup photos that are really heavily edited and people like you know do their own makeup and then they try to take photos or client photo makeup and you know it doesn't look as good as other people and it's also like with professional cameras it can really change like the way your feed looks and stuff and it can kind of ruin someone's confidence when they want to you know be, maybe be big on Instagram or something and it's quite hard to do that but you just have to remember that you know everyone starts somewhere and your confidence shouldn't be set off you know you might like a girl's feed or like the way her life is portrayed but you know she has insecurities too and of course you do everyone does I do um, and you really just have to work towards accepting them and accepting who you are because you are you and all your insecurities and all your flaws make up who you are all right um, yeah so Instagram sets unrealistic expectations for girls and things and you need to remember that you know their life might not be perfect and everyone has insecurities and that's absolutely fine they also people on social media and stuff they also post what they want the world to see so don't be fooled if your life isn't as perfect as their life tends to be um, or seems like it is because in hindsight it's probably not and that's something that you have to remember another thing I want to talk about is bullies so if you're in high school or even primary school I don't know how old you are even if you're in the workplace or in uni or whatever wherever you are whatever you're doing um, bullies are gonna probably be a part of your life for a, a while and you always come across people that you know try and degrade you and just be nasty and things which is obviously not good and people like that are ridiculous you just have to remember that the things that people say and if they're being nasty to you they're not true friends um, and probably try and like escape that friend group or get rid of them and you know just focus on yourself and focus on building yourself and building your own confidence and those people that say nasty things about you or trying to put you down and affect your confidence I'm probably gonna say confidence like 5,000 times in this video so just you know confidence 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 um, yeah so you just have to remember that they're not the ones that are important and they they what they say shouldn't affect you because they obviously don't care about you or love you and I just you have to listen to the people that really love you and care about you and the people that treat you well and 
if you focus on just the positive vibes that people give you and if you give positive vibes back then you know the world would just be a happier place and you can just become so much more confident and if you really love yourself from within it's not always about what you look like it's not always about what you have what money you have and things like that it's really about how you feel and once you start accepting yourself the things that people say about you and the bullies that bully you and everything like that it really won't affect you because you have to love yourself and just try and work towards not caring what other people think about you because at the end of the day all you have is yourself and the people that love you and people that love you won't be you know putting you down and saying bad things about you so the people that are doing that they really don't matter and life goes on and they're not going to be around forever do you know what i mean like you're going to become an adult or if you already are an adult you have the opportunity to get away from those people and you can always find things to improve your life and that's what you really need to focus on you don't need to focus on the bad things and be like oh i'm so not confident or this person said that and you don't really need to fixate on those things because that's not important they're not the important things in life you need to focus on the things that you do have and the way you can become more confident the way you can love yourself more because that's the important things um, also confidence won't come overnight so if you're expecting to you know just watch this video or watch other videos and become confident overnight it's not gonna happen that's just not realistic and um, everyone has bad days like sometimes I feel really crappy and sometimes I don't want to necessarily leave the house or I have try and find an outfit and I can't find one that I like and that's just life like that happens to everyone like ev everyone goes through those days everyone has bad days and that's fine don't let that set you back um, it's everyone has insecurities like you know and another thing I want to touch on is um, people can be nasty and people can pick out certain things like I'll give you kind of like an example from myself so I shaved my head um, just over a year ago now and that was for leukemia for the world's greatest shaved and I earned money like I raised money sorry to donate to a um, leukemia foundation and after shaving my head like I noticed that I wasn't getting as many likes on Instagram and um, a lot less attention from like boys and things like that not that I care I didn't really care at all because it was kind of good like it just got rid of like the people that you know really didn't they just kind of liked me for my not looks necessarily but my um, image kind of thing and yeah like that made me realize that wow people are very superficial and things like that like I shave my head for a good cause and like I'm losing not attention from it but you know what I mean like that's a big thing and also like my school um, a lot of people have really expensive good cars because their parents buy them or they've been saving for a long time and they have nice cars in my car I'll probably insert a photo but the car that I had I've sold it now her name was Fanny and she was a 1999 Ford Festiva and she was like a little shitbox like she used to, I'd turn her on and she'd squeal for ages like even teachers would laugh at me but I kind of just like my stride and was like you know at least I have a car like it might have cost me $300 but who cares like it works and I'm happy with it like I was in love with that car so much and it got me the places I needed to go and it didn't ruin my confidence seeing that these people had nice flashy cars and to be honest I noticed that a lot of people would rather go in someone else's car than mine just I guess it was small but I wasn't sure if that's because they didn't want to be seen in a car like mine or something but I just thought that was really silly and that didn't I didn't never let my that get my confidence down but knowing that other people might be thinking that you know it's a shit car and stuff like I used to like go out with my friends and um, I used to get a little bit embarrassed of my car sometimes when I first got it and stuff because everyone else had nice cars but I never let that really get me down and stop me from doing things just because my car you know and I kind of just like would make jokes with people and yeah you just gotta fake it till you make it guys seriously so yeah just to recap um, don't focus on other people's lives just focus on yourself and you know not everyone's perfect and nothing's as perfect as it people make it out to be and um, bullies with bullies don't don't let what they say affect you because really it's not gonna matter in 10 years it's not gonna matter in three weeks or it's not gonna matter when you drop out of school or like when you finish school and you get a new job like there's always ways that you can get away from it and there's always ways that you can stand up for yourself and you have to really stand up for yourself and um, share your opinion accept your flaws and once you start showing confidence, the bullies kind of back off. They, <clears throat> people start seeing that you're more confident. You can kind of like inspire other people too. Like I really don't care what people think about me. I'll go to the shops in my pajamas or you know, like 
just random things like that or go without makeup on and like just take little steps maybe like you know wear less makeup if that's an issue for you and you kind of like maybe you have acne or something like that's a step you can take wear a little bit less makeup and you will notice that you kind of make these things in your own head and like you think oh this that person's looking at me because of my acne or this person's looking at me because I'm a bit chubby or you know that's really not what people are doing like people just if you go to the shops and someone's looking at you they're probably just looking at you like I used to stare at people all the time accidentally like not even noticing that I'm looking at people it was a bit of a problem but like you know it's not because I was staring at someone because you know they had their hair looked funny or you know like people used to stare at me all the time because I had shaved hair or my piercings and like you know I could feel a bit uncomfortable sometimes meeting people or meeting families because you know I look a bit different I have like shaved hair under like underneath or I used to have a full shaved head and people do like judge you and but you just have to remember that their judgments shouldn't matter to you because if you're happy with yourself then what anyone else says it doesn't matter if you're a nice person and you're attracting nice people and you're giving out nice energy and respectful energy and you respect yourself and you respect people around you that really should come back to you don't confuse confidence with cockiness and don't be you can love yourself and be confident with yourself and you know but don't put other people down like that's not going to raise your confidence you saying that you're better than other people is not going to make you better or a better person it's not really going to make you more confident because that's not confidence and self-love is loving yourself and loving the people around you as well and just yeah you get what you put out so don't actually put out but i mean like you put out good vibes and good energy you know so hopefully hopefully i wasn't rambling too much and i kind of like i feel like i've not been looking at the camera this whole time i keep looking out the window i think it's really important to have self-confidence and self-love and as soon as you start being more confident you can live your life more freely do you know what i mean and as soon as you stop caring so much about what other people think about you the more you can enjoy your life and do the things that you want to do without holding back hopefully this helped some of you and hopefully that you can take something from this video and if you have anything to add please comment below you can help each other out in the comments not that i get many comments but okay. yeah so please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video excuse me i will definitely oh excuse me again <laughs> i'll definitely be uploading more videos about advice and stuff if you guys like them and i have lots of other things to talk about and I like talking so I'm definitely going to be doing more sit down videos and advice videos if you like um, I might start like a little series or something so yeah um, thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe the buttons down below both of them and you can turn on your post notifications too if you like to get notified every single time I upload a video which hopefully will be more often from now on and yeah thanks for watching be more confident take small steps Love yourself and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.